creamy tomato and mascarpone pasta. Let's make this guys. This is such an easy dish for lunch, a quick dinner for the family. So easy, it takes as long as it takes for your pasta to cook to make the sauce and you are done. So get your pasta on, we've got about 10 minutes, get some oil in a pan and we're gonna break in a chorizo pork sausage. If you can't find these in your supermarket, any pork sausage with a little bit of chorizo or andua will do. Just break it up in the pan and start to brown that off. Once you get a nice color in, you wanna add your garlic. Give that a good mix and we've got to keep an eye on the garlic here. No one likes burnt garlic. Once your garlic's done, add in some butter and mix that around. Again, keeping the gas or heat on low. We're gonna add in about two tablespoons of tomato puree. And before we start to mix that in, try and cook that off. Get away from that tinny taste um, and give that a good mix together. Once that's fully combined, we're gonna get some of our pasta water. I normally use around two cups and add it in. That will equate to about two portions. Obviously scale that up or down as needed. We're gonna mix that together. We want the oil and the water to emulsify. That means it mixes together. So just keep it moving, add in your mascarpone and that'll start to thicken it up. You can see the bottom of the pan there um, as the sauce is thickening. We're gonna thicken it even further parmesan into the sauce this will thicken it also and you should get in, start getting a really nice consistency season well with salt and pepper and then what we're going to do is get that all mixed together this is pretty much your sauce done your pasta should be just before al dente here now we're going to add that into the sauce for the final couple of minutes to cook through give that a toss and a shake make sure that all the sauce gets in those nooks and crannies of your pasta so that every single bite is so so good this sauce is unbelievable i've just garnished here with some uh, really finely chopped parsley it's entirely up to you but trust me on this sauce it will be any jar sauce you buy. I'll garnish again once I've plated up with some more Parmesan, I've sliced up some salted mozzarella and I'll add a couple of basil leaves. And I think you can agree that looks absolutely gorgeous. And I think it will look great on any table and it takes 10 minutes guys, come on, you've got to try it. That's it for me guys in this video. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and follow all the other socials and don't forget the Facebook group.